what's up guys this is brother shield here um today we're gonna do another video of another game running on the demon ps2 demon i keep saying demon or demon digimon or demon ps2 emulator i might want to change the name later on bro and that is um tales of the abyss um so yeah this is another game i could um go into um i haven't really played uh, any gameplay so i don't know if we can go in game with this i do know we can go to the opening screen to the main menu etc so this video was actually um requested uh i think by hold on yeah this video was actually requested by mm. matthew Ma michael sorry michael hazel hazel um one of the video games that was also requested was um god's hand and soul Calibur. i will test out th that ga those other games don't worry but um if it doesn't work i'll just reply saying that those games don't work so this is another bank this is a banker Bank Bankai number, sorry. Oh, my head's spinning today. Okay, so without further ado, let's see how this game performs. So we're in the cutscene, we're still getting roughly 34 to 33 frames per second. So let's watch this quick intro.
okay that was pretty much the intro cutscene um uh, just a quick uh, note here i wanted to point out um i'm gonna try and see if i can also watch the cutscene during my videos as well see so um not be um some of you might heard might have told me that i might want to skip it but the thing is um i don't know if some of these games can go in game so if i just skip the cutscene and then it turns out that i can't go in game or it turns out that i can't really well long story short if i can't go in game it might just end up being a short video so that's why i tend to add on the cutscenes to the speed at least the complete speed of um which version by the way um I will be um putting the link in the description. Sorry, I'm putting in the description the version um of the emulator I'm using. So who knows? Maybe a few months down the line, there might um there be a newer version, and oh, etc. etc. So yeah, there's quite a few glitches um a few glitches on the screen. So um yeah, without further ado, let's see if we can get in game. Uh, if we can. Alright, but the bad news is I can't really skip this cutscene. <laughs> well, either way, let's just watch it. Nice, beautiful anime cutscene right there. Ah, we're in game. We're getting a nice 58 frames per second. Damn, close to 60 at least. Nice. So, okay, in this game we just um they need to fix the cutscenes, I guess. But the in-game seems to be working quite well. Seems like the Japanese um RPG games, or at least the Japanese games, tend to run a lot smoother. Maybe with the exception of Shadow of the Classes. Okay, let's go. All right, we are in the game, and everything seems to be working smoothly. Again, a nice solid uh, around uh, 55 frames per second, close to 60 at least. So this game, you could say, is one of the fully playable games, like with the exception of the cutscenes. So yeah, it's actually working really well. I'm surprised. 
Or maybe it could just be because of the map. But anyway, let's let's get this game a go. Let's get trying. Guess I'm hearing things. His voice acting. All right. The frame waste has dropped down a bit, so you can see that pretty much when we're in a bigger map or a bigger area, frame rates tends to drop, but we're still getting like a somewhat kind of smooth gameplay. Uh, we're getting like 40 frames per second, and people are disappearing. Can't see anybody. I'm all alone. Not the Lord, it's my job. So there are a few glitches that need to be fixed in game, but at least the frame rate is actually quite high, surprisingly. Well, I won't say perfect, but still working. All right, too much text. Let those go. Okay, camera moves as well. Camera angle. Master Luke, Luke Skywalker, baby. No, Luke Skywalker, baby. Okay, got a nice type of Final Fantasy feel here. Oh, let us be senpai. Master Luke. Oh, I like that. Master Luke. Call me the master. Right. Hey, it seems like when we're in a bigger, as I mentioned, the bigger environment means um bigger frame rate. Oh, character also slows down the game in, in some much respect. I can't go through, Master Luke. I have a visitor in the entrance hall. Wait. I won't talk to my guard. Right. Let's continue with the story. in the combat and see how that performs.
I do? Okay. Apple gel. I'm not entirely sure what to do, to be honest. I'm just trying to skip through it. But yeah, as I've mentioned, um, in, this, in the small areas, um, the frame rate seems to be a lot higher. And uh, in larger areas, frame rate definitely slows down. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly breeze around, see what I can do. Um, see if I can progress in the story, really. voice again. Luke, what is it? Not another one of those headaches. Guy, is that you? It's okay. It's gone. You hearing things again? I wish I knew what the hell it was. It's so annoying. They're getting more frequent. They started after you were kidnapped by the Malkuth Empire. What's that, seven years now? Thanks to them, now I'm going crazy. Well, don't worry about it too much. So, what do you want to do today? How about some sword practice? Sorry, not today. Master Van's here. Van? But today's not a training day, is it? Apparently something came up. Master Luke, may I come in? Yes. Uh oh, I can't let anyone see me here. You may come in. I'm out of here before I get caught. See ya. Master. Master Luke? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Come on in, it's open. His Grace requests your presence in the drawing room. All right, dismissed. I guess I'll get going. You wanted to see me, Father? Hmm. Have a seat, Luke. Hey, Master Van! Do I get to train with you today? We'll have time for that later. First, we have to talk about something. Dorian General Grants is returning to Doth tomorrow. Huh? Why? You know that I am a member of the Oracle Knights, part of the Order of Lorelei. You're their Commandant, right? Right. As the leader of the Knights, it's my duty to provide protection for Phone Master Ion. What's a Phone Master Ion? He's the leader of the Order of Lorelei. It's thanks to Ion that the truce between the Malkuth Empire and our Kingdom of Kimlaska Lanvaldir is in place. 
If Ion's predecessor, Evanos, is the hero who ended the hard war, then the current phone master is a symbol of the peace that reigns today. Unfortunately, Ion has gone missing. Therefore, I must attend to my duty as an Oracle Knight and join the search for Phone Master Ion. Hold on, you can't do that. If you go back home, who's gonna train me? <laughs> Settle down. I'll have one of my men come here until I return to Kim Laska. Hey, the frame rate seems to drop when one does more characters in the scene. But that's a little side note there. But I want you to teach me! Don't be selfish, Luke. Dorian General Grants will return soon enough. It's high time you learn some patience. Please, dear. You know what this child's been through. He's still traumatized from the kidnapping. He even lost his childhood memories, the poor thing. Don't you feel for him? Suzanne, you spoil him. Still, a life locked inside a mansion like this is hardly easy. Seriously? Why does my uncle have to keep me trapped in here? Just because he's the king, he thinks he can just order people around. It makes me mad. Luke, my brother is merely concerned for your safety. Just three more years and you'll be free. Hold on a little longer, okay? Cheer up, Luke. We'll train hard enough today to make up for the entire time I'm gone. Duke, Milady, by your leave, we must begin our training. Thank you, Dorian General. I'll head on to the courtyard. Come join me as soon as you're ready. Luke, dear, please do be careful out there. I know, I know. Jeez. I need the option to see if I can turn this thing into Japanese, at least the voice acting. If I could play with Japanese with English subtitle, like true anime. I see. Sounds like the Oracle Knights have it pretty rough. I'll have to leave everything to you for the time being. The Duke, the King, and Luke's. Ah! Master Luke! Guy, what's up? Well, Van's a Master Swordsman, so I thought I'd ask for a little instruction. Really? That's not what it looked like to me. Alright. Frame rate is now starting to take a hit. What the? Something's coming. Yeah, frame rate is now starting to really take a hit. Okay, what's going on here? Luke, did you not hear me? Huh? Oh, right. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I 
guess I'll just watch from over here. Let's see what you got, Luke. Yeah, yeah. What those dick? Kingdom Hearts, baby. First class Kingdom Hearts. Alright. Now, let's get some action. Are you ready, Luke? We'll start with the basics. Yes, Master. First, movement. Move forward or back by pushing the left stick. Try it. Press the menu button. Okay, it's now turned into 2D. That's interesting. Okay. Frame rate is taking a hit, though. Space between you and your enemy is important in battle. Watch the conditions and respond. Well, I actually doubt there will ever be any need for you to fight. <laughs> I want to show off some cool moves outside. This is not something for you to show off. Next, perform normal attacks with the attack button. Normal attacks will change when combined with the left stick. Slash with the attack button. Press it and move the left stick left or right to slash up. Press it and move the left stick up to attack enemies in the air. Attack a wide area by moving the left stick down and pressing the attack button. That about covers it. Now then, attack that dummy there just as you always do. A training dummy again? More... Smash Bros got the idea from enemies in the air or surrounding you you will need to change as the situation demands never forget that that's all for basic attacks we'll move on to defense next you know master what I've always wondered can't I just take out an enemy before it can attack are you saying you could defeat me Luke uh no I just so you understand that defense is important that dummy will attack at regular intervals. Try to defend with the guard button. Yeah, yeah, I know. No way! Good. Defense is very important in battle. You will learn new defensive skills as you battle more. Learn them well. Yes, sir. Finally, we'll move on to arts. Are you ready, Luke? I've been waiting for this. I'm ready anytime you are. Perform arts with the art button. I taught you Fang Blade. Do you remember? Yes, Master. Good. Then try it. Excellent. You've learned it well. That art is yours to use. All right. Thank you, Master. You can perform combos by combining arts with normal attacks. Cool. All right. This is the end. Use the attack button and art button to perform a combo of four hits or more. Yes, Master. Good work. Oh, you will probably learn new arts as you gain more experience in battle. You can set them in the arts menu. Then you can combine the left stick with the art button to perform a variety of arts. New arts? Okay, that was very simple. Uh, run a bit slow though. It seems like the more people that are in the frame, the slower it gets. But the bigger the map, the slower it gets. Okay, hopefully this hasn't frozen. Crap. Crap, I think this has frozen. Maybe they're switching to a cutscene. Well, 
this is needs to be fixed as well. So let me just wait one minute. If it doesn't change, ah, that sucks. So keep in mind, this is, actually, this is the first time that has happened to me. Keep in mind, even if some games do go in game, that doesn't mean you're gonna be able to play the game all the way, as they can freeze at unexpected moments like this. I was gonna end the video after that fight and then maybe just have the intro, but yeah, again, now frozen. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, I was at least I was at least I was able to get straight into the game. So, anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Um, if you like it, um, please let me know. If you guys have any suggestions of a game that you want to see running on the shield. Uh, again, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and notifications too. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.